Now this month, welcome back to the studio, we're going to take this mass of paint, you notice I've changed my clothes wonderfully, then we're going to take this mass and start to turn it into a forest. And at the end of last month's uh, video, I showed you how to break down, uh, how I broke down the color mixing for this next layer. So that hasn't changed, it's still here, and I'm going to start in the middle, and I'm going to take my dart and make it a little more solid, and I'm going to try to find a random way to put this paint down, and I'm going to start to lose the edge of where this hits the water a little bit, because part of and every shape blends into the next one. And then I'm going to take a lighter version of that color and add a little more white to it, and I'm going to start to block in on the top of that, and I'm going to scoop this wet paint down and touch it in to the darker color. I'm going to move to the side a little bit, it's hard for me to see there, and I'm just going to use my canvas as the palette, and I'm going to scoop some of the dark paint up and touch it into the light, scoop some of the light paint up and touch it into the dark. I'm artificially darkening the base of, these, of this mass, and I'm putting it down in a nice light touch, and I'm using the canvas itself as my palette. So once I put the paint down, I'll then wipe that brush again, keeping the edge pristine. I'll scoop up some of the paint and turn it over and touch it in in a pattern that could only be trees. So I'm just gonna start this rhythm of pulling these darks into that mid-tone light. And at the same time I'm doing that, I'm gonna pull some of the lights down into the darks. And we're creating a rhythm and a pattern that's going to disappear and give the viewer the sense of, 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 of a forest. And I'm going to make certain that I don't, I'm moving faster now because I don't want to have anything that's too rhythmic. I just want to have a pattern. I'm switching color and I'll block this in again. And what I'm doing is simultaneously I'm blocking in color and laying color out as part of a palette. So as I pull some of this color in, I'll then scoop it up and drop it down into, into another area and then scoop some of the darker area up and pull it up into this. And these are, it looks like I'm dragging my brush and making a mark, but what I'm really doing is dropping, moving my hand and tipping the brush in. So it, it looks like I'm moving my hand up, but what I'm, I am, I'm moving my arm up and just touching the tip of the brush. At any one time, I'm usually not moving the brush when it's on the canvas. I usually just tip, touch it, and if I do move it, it's a little horizontal movement rather than a vertical movement. So what I'm doing up here at a much faster and natural pace is this with a little tiny pull on a faster level. 